develop in ASP.NET, VP.NET, and SQL Server. For this project, you need to have to install SQL Server and Visual Studio 2015-17 or higher version. And SQL Server 2014. Okay. So once you buy this project, you will get the database script file, then uh, this source code, project source code, then this uh, project report, installation guide, and synopsis. So first you have to create your database. For database, I will use SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. Okay, so I will just uh, open that SQL Server. Okay, these are the installation guide. So you will get all the steps and required software details. Okay, so I will just first start the SQL Server. So you have to go to your start menu and select the SQL Server 2014 or whichever you have installed. So I'll start SQL Management Studio. Now connect your server. You have to create a new database. So click on new data, right click on new database with the database name. So I'll give give e whatever you want. So I'll give it okay and then click on okay. So it will create a blank database without any tables. Now what you have to do, you have to just uh, use that uh, script file, copy this, copy this path, and execute that uh, script file. So you have to just click on File, Open, File, and select the DB script file. Just remove uh, this one. Okay, so this is the tab create table and on all the, uh, what can say, all the uh, default or uh, dummy sample data will be there. Okay, so I'll just execute. So it will create all the tables. Okay, so it will show all the tables. Okay, so once it is done, you have to just configure your project. So you have to again go to your source code folder, just copy this path, okay, and start your Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. So I will just open that 2017. Click on File and then Open Website. Open Website. And paste the path, the source folder path. Click on open. So this project basically that player can register and play chess uh, to other users. Okay. So once project is open, just go to the solution explorer. You will get all the files. Okay. So you have to just configure database path. So member can register and once register they the admin need to approve that member. Once you add approved, then that person can invite other member or whichever member is available, he can select and he can start playing game. Okay. So this is the connection string you have to change. So you have to change the database name and that your uh, data source. So you will get data source here. Just right click and click on properties. You have to select this one, RMS. Maybe in your PC it will SQL Express or whatever. So just copy and go your web config file and delete and paste here. So whatever the name. Then this is the database name. So I am giving the database name is eGameDB. So I will just copy it or you can type also. Just delete and paste. Okay. So that you have to do in your system. Once it is done, so you have to just set the default is that your startup page. Right click and set a start page. So if you want to change any color or anything or any design, you can use that style.css or there is a theme also there. So if you want to any color of buttons or anything, you can ch change from here. Okay. So once it is done, you have to just run it. Save the, all the changes and run the it. To the home page of that application. So user 
need to log in or need to register suppose i want to register so i'll click on register so you have to fill all my details if already you have the account you can log in so i'll create one account so i'll give the uh, username so password i give is name says okay country i will give india then photo so you can select one photo also if you want a small photo you can select okay then you can click on submit so your member is registered okay so if you want to check whether member is registered or not so if you just go to your database and there is uh, your player is the table name where all the player will be there so there will be dummy player already there so this is the last one i have created this to get that okay so this is the player now this is all details will be there the photo will store as a binary data okay now say i want to log in with this so this is a password and this is the login id okay so this is a default password so whatever i have password set so that can be changed from the after login okay. so i will login now i have given that uh, what is the user id i have given now so in gmail okay. so i will put that on me. now password i have given add this password can it login your membership is not approved by admin because admin user need to approve the membership okay so i will go to the admin login so there is the admin login is there the admin user id and password so there is a table called admin so from there you can check what is the admin user id password admin and password is admin one so i have to use admin and admin one admin one okay approve member so it will show all the member and who is the approver not admin so i will go to the last one so i have to click on approve then it will approve so i'll click on approve okay so that list is going there so if i again go and check the database now it will show it is approved so how we log in i will just remove that one this is the user page login this is the my email id and password i will login now it is allowed to login because admin is approved now this is the menu article user can post article like i want to create a rule of chess whatever i want i know i can type there and submit but this need to be approved by admin to display to others invitation i can if i know any person email id so i can search and for and type submit okay so this uh, if this uh, employee sorry this user is there so he can notify it and he can join okay otherwise i can go play a new game i can select anyone whom i know so i want to play so i can select okay so this is the edit profile so whatever details i want to change i want to display change the display name image and okay now so let's start with play so i'll go to play now i have not played any game so i'll start new game suppose i have to play with this person to play now so this is that details is showing he's already played multiple times Okay, and how many times is doing this rank is showing start now this is the chase box okay so basically basically you have to select that uh, particular portion and we have to set that then it will come actually this portion whenever the user the other user will click and save that will not only refresh once you refresh it will refresh to your move Okay, so if you if you want to check like this one, I want to move there. It will also work. Okay, so you can refresh the move. 
So you are the player one. Okay. Player two actually the reason that once you play multi user, so you have to log in with other system, with the same URL or you can publish it in the web. Then it can be seen because this uh, move is saved with saving database actually every move. Okay, and it will save like this table. Save it. So this will save whatever move we are doing. So this will add here. Okay. Move. Uh, I want to move another move. So I want to move this user. This one. Okay. If I refresh it, another move is created. Now once uh, suppose I want to quit this game and I want to save this game and I will play later on. So there is an option called save. So I can save this. Okay. So resume play if I resume play then that position will automatically start from that location only. So all move will be displayed. So this is the this is the project basically. There is a you can uh, develop in I mean it's like you can add a timer so that second person can automatically move. But that is, you can enhance that project basically in future. So once you buy it, you will get all the all these uh, files and this uh, all source code will be in this project. So if you want to go to check the source code, you will get the chase board also that code also there. Okay, all the logic you can put. The validation, everything you can put here. Okay. So once you buy, you will get all the project uh, files, and you can do R and D, or you can change, or you can enhance also. Okay. The project report is uh, there, all the diagram and everything is there. So if you want, you can buy and you can print it, and you can um, submit to your college or university, or you can refer for your knowledge purpose. Okay.